Hello and welcome to this series of short videos which will be accompanying my album, Invisible Music, folk songs that influenced Angela Carter. Hello, in this video I would like to talk about tracks 8 and 9, which are Lady Isabel and the Elf Knight, which is a child ballad. And I've chosen to pair with that a little extract from the Earl King, which depicts a scene of our heroine stroking the Earl King's hair to, and sending him to sleep and then imagining killing him, which is basically completely lifted out of the child ballad. I mean, it's almost flagrant plagiarism. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how she got away with it. Oh, love her. Um, now, I found very excitingly a load of notes in the British Library in the Carter archives, teaching notes, which are, it obviously was a class that she gave in the 80s, in, she was teaching at Brown University in the States for a year, she went and did a creative writing class. And she wrote a great big, call, uh, like a class session out about Bluebeard, about the Bluebeard cycle, and how the motif of Bluebeard turns up over and over again. And one of her examples was this ballad. She wrote pages on it. She knew, obviously knew it really, really well. And again, I think I was probably let out a little squeak in the library again. They probably got a bit sick of me being completely overexcited at my little discoveries in the archives. But when you listen to this ballad, and actually when you also listen to one called Hind Etting, which has got a similar theme of incarceration and someone getting put in the woods and being held there and blah, you can hear what nourished her imagination to write The Earl King. <laughs> 